Each association is required to lodge annual financial statements. These statements advise who the committee was for the previous year, the financial position of the association, and confirms that the objectives of the association haven't changed. Even if your income is zero, your financial statement is required to be completed and accepted by the members at an annual general meeting or a special general meeting. Each association is identified with a tier level. The tier level determines the type of auditor you are required to use. Tier 1 is income of less than $25,000 and assets of less than $50,000. Tier 2 is income of $25,001 to $250,000 and or assets of $50,001 to $500,000. Tier 3 is income of more than $250,000 and or assets of more than $500,000. For a Tier 1 association, your auditor can be someone objective and impartial. This person must not be a member of your association, a spouse, business partner, employer or employee of a member of your association, a spouse or business partner of an employer or employee of a member of your association. A committee of a Tier 1 association will draft the financial statement and provide it to the auditor. For a Tier 2 association, your auditor must be a member of an accountant's body. For a Tier 3 association, your auditor must be a person who is certified for public practice by an accountant's body or a person approved by the Commissioner. For Tiers 2 and 3, your auditor often completes the financial document on your behalf and provides an auditor's report, which confirms the method for conducting the audit and provides an opinion. The financial statement is then provided to the committee for review, confirmation of accuracy and signing of the committee statements. The auditor receives this signed copy and then completes the document by signing and dating the auditor's report. For all tier levels, once the financial statement is completed, signed and dated by the auditor, it must be made available to members for at least 14 days prior to the meeting. This gives your membership the opportunity to ask questions prior to the annual general meeting. At the meeting, the members will vote on the acceptance of the financial statement and, if accepted, the document is required to be lodged. If the document is not accepted by the members, please contact the NT Government Association's compliance team for advice on next steps. Lodgement of your documents is via the Territory Business Centre. You can lodge electronically using the online portal, in person at a Territory Business Centre office, or via emailing. Your lodgement should include the financial statement, the AGM or SGM minutes, and the annual return form if you are not lodging online. Both methods require a lodgement fee. The fee amounts are located on the NT Government website. Late lodgements will attract higher fees. This is also a good opportunity to ensure your public officer is up to date. If you are unable to present your financial statements to members within the required timeframes, you can request an extension by emailing the NT Government Association's compliance team. In your email, you will need to provide a reason for the delay and the time frame you expect to be able to hold the meeting. Reasons for a delay can include the financial statement not being ready, an auditor being away or unwell, or trouble getting your membership together. An exemption or extension can be sought for the inability to meet your constitution requirements or to lodge financial statements. For example, if the financial statement has not been completed by the auditor or if your membership is unable to attend. For more information on starting an association and becoming incorporated, please keep watching or chat to the association's compliance team at associations.compliance at nt.gov.au. Visit www.nt.gov.au slash associations.